All right, so I just discovered this, so I'm just going to show you. So uh, I always thought you could import open VDPs, which is really cool. You can import like volumes and render that. But I never really knew how to like export this in Blender because if you go to file and then export, there's no VDB option here. Uh, I was talking to a classmate and he also had no idea. Um, and then I went on Google, searched for a bunch of stuff, and I just couldn't find it. But I've now just found a way to export VDBs in Blender. And it's built in, you don't have to do anything. So we can just uh, delete the default cube, shift A to add an A cube again, just move it up. And I'm just going to set up a really simple uh, fluid simulation. So go over to this force field thing, add fluid, set this to domain. And then add in another cube, scale this down so it's inside, give this a fluid, and set this to like flow, and then smoke. And if we hit play, we can see a smoke simulation appear. And basically what it's doing now is it's calculating like the simulation, and it's going a little bit slower. But if I play this back, it will be in real time, because it has cached this. So if I go over here, here you have a caching folder. And this is basically where it like uh, saves the frames. It's basically like the frames of the simulation and then it's playing back in real time. So how to export this as VDB then? Well, right here in the cache you have open VDB and you have a folder here. So if I click on this folder icon, we can see this cache fluid system and we can just copy over this path. And then if we go into the file explorer, and then we can just paste in that path here. And right now we can go over to data and here are all your VDB like frames. So these are VDB files and that's amazing. So now you can just export it. It's not really exporting, it like caches, but you can just copy this over to a different folder. So Blender doesn't delete it because these are temporary files for Blender. So yeah, that's how you can uh, export VDBs. And if I just delete this and then I can just import one of those frames so just drag in uh, frame 12 you can also just drag and drop this and then we have the volume here which is amazing i never knew this and i also couldn't find any like videos about this so that's why i'm making this one but yeah right now you have your volume if i was any better at like uh, fluid sims and things like that i would make a better uh, cloud right here but i've also just uh, tried a bunch with that I'll just drop it in and you can uh, tell me if I'm doing doing something right. So I tried to make a cumulus cloud right here. And I'll just leave this on my gumroad uh, for anyone to pick up. Uh, this is just done with simulations in Blender. And I think this will add like really nice volumetric clouds to my scenes. So yeah, I hope this video helped you. Um, maybe this is like a well-known thing. I don't know. I've never seen this. Uh, so yeah, you can just do it like this. So if you found this useful, please leave a like and subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.